All right, so we're gonna show you guys a clinical tip that's super important for diagnosing dental disease. And it can seem really simple, but honestly, it's one of the most effective things that you can do when you're doing a dental exam, or if you're wondering if a tooth needs to come out. The general rule of thumb is any tooth that is abscessed produces pus, and pus has to go somewhere. It has to exit the body, so it's always going to look for the path of least resistance. That can be draining in the mouth, it could be draining in the sinus, or it could be draining externally along the maxilla. So that pus has to go somewhere, right? And so basically we're like detectives, and so what we can do is you go in and you, all you have to do is figure out if it's draining. Uh, many times you can find it if you have the right types of probes. An oral endoscope helps, but a mirror... Um, can also be used and so it's just a matter of taking that extra few minutes to look for that so we're going to show you a case here okay so here we've got a horse that's got a fractured tooth we can see that right here right so there's feed packing so we know for sure this tooth probably has to come out um, but just because we know that doesn't mean that we're not going to continue to examine this a little bit closer so we come around here and you'll see where right here there's a little bit of pus coming out right here. There's a drain track, okay? And so that's exactly what I was talking about. Where And then look, see how deep that probe goes up in there? All the way, okay? And so that's very consistent with the periapical abscess, okay? So just be looking. Anytime you have a tooth that you suspect is bad, look very closely at the gingiva and use a very fine probe and you can just explore along there and many, many, many times you'll find a drain track. If it's not there, it could be draining into the sinus or it could be draining um, outside the mandible or maxilla. So now that we've done our thorough exam and we found that drain track, we know even without radiographs that we for sure have to take that tooth out. Now what we want to use the radiographs for is surgical planning. We want to look and see what are the shapes of the roots. Um, or is, there, is there an odontoma present or maybe seam reactive cement or um, extenuating, there may be some other complicating factors, right? So the, the, the imaging is very, very helpful for that. And then obviously it's one more layer too that's gonna confirm our, our diagnosis. So let's look at the x-ray here. So right here we can see, I'm gonna look in that area, you can see the mouse, it's pretty small, but look at that area. We can see how we have a periapical abscess right here. So that just kind of ties the whole thing together. Now we're gonna go ahead and extract that tooth and this horse is gonna feel better for sure. So one thing that we get a lot is oftentimes people say, oh, well, I, my horse had a fractured tooth or broken tooth, but we're just watching it um, to see what happened. Or for you veterinarians out there that aren't, aren't sure if it's a tooth that needs to come out or not, really be looking for those drain tracks. Just because a horse isn't showing any external signs doesn't mean they don't have something very painful. So just remember, all these abscesses produce pus. It's just that many times the pus is draining into the mouth, and so you're not seeing it orally, and the horse is doing fine. Uh, so just because you have a horse that's doing well and not having any particular issues doesn't mean that there's not a serious dental problem. So this is where thorough annual dental exams are so, so critical. So don't forget to have your horse's teeth checked once a year by somebody that's really thorough in their exam. Mm -hmm.